Hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. Uh, Larry, what's with the bag? Uh, Larry who? Larry who? Well, Larry you! The cucumber has left the building. Larry, quit goofing around. Everybody knows it's you. They do? Well, well yeah! Oh, Bob, I'm so ashamed. I don't want the kids to see me like this. Like what? Like this. Larry, you look fine. What are you ashamed about? Before the show, I stopped for lunch at Burger Bell. Yeah? Well, I ordered the four-piece nuggets with fries and the milk. And? And it came with a toy, but I couldn't get it out of the wrapper. I think it's a wind-up chihuahua. Uh-huh. Well, just before I dipped my first nugget, I bowed my head and sang a little song, thanking God for my yummy lunch. <laughs> my mom and dad always taught me to thank God for my food. Well, that's great. It went, God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our nuggets. Oh, Larry, this is a lovely story, but I still don't know why... They laughed at me, Bob. What? Well, who laughed at you? The kids in the other booth. They laughed at me for singing over my nuggets. Well, that wasn't nice. No, it wasn't. And now I'm doomed to a life of shame. Larry, you are not doomed to a life of shame. Singing or praying over a meal is nothing to be embarrassed about. But they laughed at me. I'm thinking we might shift gears today. Joey from Philadelphia, we'll get to your question on the next show. I think today we need to tell a story that's going to help Larry out. A story for me? This requires immediate attention. Thanks, Joey. I owe you one. Wow, Bob. That was great. Did you change bags? What? Your bag is smiling. It wasn't smiling before. I don't know what you're talking about. The way Minnesota Cute came to Rattan's rescue, doing what was right, no matter what other people thought, that was great. Larry, will you please take the bag off your head? I'd rather not. Oh, come on, Larry. Stop goofing around. We have a show to wrap up. Bob, I said I'd rather not. Ah! What happened? What? Your bag changed expressions again. Really? Ah! Hey! Can we get on with this, please? Oh, all right. But I want my bag back after the show. Fine. Let's see if Cordy has a verse for us today. Ha ha. Very funny. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. Being afraid of people can get you into trouble. But if you trust in the Lord, you will be safe. Proverbs 29, 25. Yep. When Minnesota was worried about what everyone else thought of him, it made it hard for him to do the right things. Once he remembered how much God loved him and that God was smiling down on him, ignoring the teasing of others became much easier. Great story, Bob. So if I decide I want to sing a song and thank God for my food, I don't need to be ashamed and worry about what other people think. It just matters what God thinks. That's right, Larry. Hi, guys. I feel really happy, and I don't know why. Oh, boy. Always remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye! Isn't that bag cool? I just really love you guys.